taking forever. <laughs> hey. Hi, everybody. This is our first time in the in the computer, right? Mm-hmm. So, all right. Well, now you're live, so I'm gonna disappear. I'm not gonna disappear too far. <laughs> but um, yes. Hi, Karen. How, yeah. How's it going? So this is Dawn's first time. Actually, the camera's right there. Oh. This is Dawn's first time, like live streaming on a laptop. It's actually our both. So is the sound and everything okay? Hi, Joe Jeppers. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Nancy. This is my first time live on the computer. So yeah, because you know YouTube, they now you got to have a thousand. Hi, Karen. Hi, Tony. Before, yeah, so we get to uh, so now, yeah. Hi, Patty. Hi, Joe. So it looks it looks good. Okay, that was the big thing because we we've never done it. We've always done it from mobile. So. Wow. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Joe Jeffers. Hi, Patty. So when you talk, see a camera, a little tiny oh. ball at the top. So you, you can look down. It's kind of you don't want to kind of look weird like your eyes are looking <laughs> in a different direction. So. Hi, Dawn. Oh, hey. Oh, let you be. You can talk about that. How's everybody today? Oh, Karen's live streaming with the mobile app on her phone. Oh, cool. How is it working for you? Yeah, I mean, there's like two good programs. One the mobile, the mobile is in live, and the other one is. Hi, Joe. How's the weather? The weather is raining today. I don't know what the temp is, though. It's it, great. It is 77 degrees. In it's 77 degrees in Pigeon Forge with the rain on and off. Hi, Marilyn. Everybody's doing good today. Hi, Nola K. Best. I hope I'm saying your name right. No, no look. Hi, Joe. The car show is over today. Yes, it is. It was busy last night. We were out. We were out all pretty much all day yesterday with it. We did the best we could with it. So, try to get everybody's cars in. Hi, Terry. Hi, Vicky. Storm just went through here. I'm in North Florida. Oh, I think we're getting it too on and off. We got a little bit of rain. It's nice to see you too, Nancy. That's great. Nola is fine. Hi, Nola. Beer's Food. Subscribe to you. Thank you, Beer's Food. Welcome to the Dawn Dawn room. <laughs> Dawn chat. Oh, boy. You guys are in for a Hope you all are safe with the storm down there. We're currently getting snow here in Indiana. What? More snow? No way. So they're getting tornadoes in, like, you know, summer in the United States. And they're getting snow up in the upper. Wow. <laughs> More snow. I, I feel bad for you guys. We, when we were lived in Michigan, uh, we got, like, nine months of cold and, like, three months of warm. Yeah, a lot of nice cars were down there. Thank you, Debbie. This is my first time on the computer live streaming, so hopefully everything sounds good. And Thank you, Marilyn. Maybe we'll get to run into you in July, Debbie. Hi. Oh, everybody's talking to each tell, other. Tell Debbie to watch her live stream tonight because we did get her 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 um envelope. Oh, we got your your envelope, Deb. Thank you so much. But we're gonna announce that on our live stream tonight. We got everybody's mail that everybody sent us. So if you guys are watching, if you guys sent us anything, thank you very much. You, you and thank you for watching and coming to my chat. Sometimes I'm talking, my chin gets cut out of the chat. Yeah, because I'm kind of sitting weird. You I think. See yourself in position that you move <laughs> that, that forward and back. Yeah. I think I don't know if that'll help or not. Okay, there you go. Oh, hi, mom. Hi, beer Foods, mom. How is everybody? Thank you, Vicky. 
did you get your feeding chickens with dog shit? Um, we're, we're no, I would love to have one though. I want to get stuff. one. We're working, we're well, working we're, on it. What we're doing is looking for someone who can draw real good. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we know a few people. I want to get like a cartoon light, like with the chickens or like a cartoon picture of me with the chickens or I think it'd be the way to go. I don't know. We, we just got to find someone who can draw really well. He's so busy. You need to be feeding those chickens with Dawn shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Dawn from Avon Park. Hi, Lauren. Lauren from Florida. Ashley is a busy, but we're going to try and hook up with him maybe next month, is it? He's going to have, I think he's going to be in the state over. We're, we're going to try yes. really hard to get out there and he's see him. Right now. Oh, is he? I should be doing all the talking. <laughs> well, you are. You gotta talk. Well, we did the car show in the last three days. Let's get a question. Do you really eat in the area? Um, I don't even see it though. There's the um, the farmhouse. The farmhouse would be opening uh, the new over one. In the, 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 oh. We haven't been there. Um, we also haven't been to the Groucho. Um, the Goncho. We got to do that. Yeah, we gonna definitely. Groucho. The Goncho is on our to-do list, big time. Also, Thanks, the, Deb. Hi, Helga. How's it going? Yeah, there's a bunch of new restaurants opening. We just we we got to get and do one of them. <laughs> Helga, thank you so much for the package you sent us. We're going to open at 10 on our live stream Sunday. <laughs> Will's mustache. Oh, boy. I'm getting used to it. <laughs> Not really for sure why he's growing it, but okay. <laughs> you know. Hi, um, Miss Doc. Mistake Bunny. This is Jan from Adventures in Heartland. Hi, Adventures in Heartland. Mustache and goatee. <laughs> it's something to get used to. I don't think I've ever really seen him grow anything out. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Karen. Tell Hilda we met enough a, a couple country men from England that came to the meetup. Um, I can't think of their names at the moment. We met a um a couple from England on our Friday night meetup, oh. all the way from England, Helga, and um, they're really great people. We talked to them for a little bit. We just can't remember their names. They're from York Yorkshire. They're from Yorkshire, Yorkshire, New England. Yorkshire, Yorkshire, I don't know. Yorkshire. Depends on what kind of <laughs> crazy English we talk. <laughs> well, William's tired. I could probably walk a couple more miles, but we walked like, what, 10 miles yesterday? Yeah, I was tired. In fact, Dawn. I was crying. I was go he was booing. I to go home. Uh, we, he was we walked, crying. We walked over 30 miles over the last Sunday day. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Helga said, that's great. Did they know me? Um, I, I told them about you, and um, they they didn't seem to know, but I think they're going to the, maybe the next live stream or something. Now, they're here right now on vacation, so I don't think they're going to be, you know, they, they come here to see bears. And what I was, said hi to they you. actually posted on the Yitz uh, Facebook. So they, they put they posted pictures of bears that they seen. So they they actually got to see the bears that they've come here to 
to look for. Yeah, I mean, so it was pretty cool. <laughs> well, look, Will has no hat. Noko yeah, said hi to you. Oh, wow. There's a big fellow. Yeah, we we never did. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I never I never did a live stream on the laptop, so this was this is all new for us. Um, I kind of like it in a way, other than you can't take the laptop with you on the streets, but because um, everything is big, you know, all the wording and everything. So is it? Will didn't recognize them. <laughs> that little new subscriber thing. Clo close that out. It's a little close. Oh. You're missing half your chat. That's the reason why you can't oh, see that's your why chat I can't right see it. Back. I'm seeing little things. Chloe's mom. Hi. Look at you. Don is live. Yes. He does have hair. <laughs> oh, no. I don't have my hat. I got to go. <laughs> well, yeah, we definitely want to do some more hiking now. But every time we want to yeah, go out there, I'm, it rains. The good thing is, is that now that the rod runs over with, we can get in and do some things. So hi, BTD. BTD. Um. Oh. So yes. I did um, miss half the chat. <laughs> yeah, you were missing half the chat. That's the reason why I was taking her so long because there was a thing blocking. So we're, I guess, yeah, Dawn's learning how to um, live stream from the laptop. I guess the laptop's pretty good quality. It should be. This laptop's quite expensive. It better have the best camera and everything else. But um, wow. Um, are we gonna do a group hike? We'd like to. Yes. Yeah, that's something that we Definitely. can talk about. Um, Anything going on in the middle of July? It's gonna be hot here. <laughs> uh, we do have the Fourth of July parade, which is a real big thing for us to do. Um, but really, July is kind of um, a, not not a slow time for town. It's more of a uh, uh, just slow time for us because really nothing's going on other than just the average average stuff. Is that Tom Selleck over my shoulder? <laughs> Are you gonna grow the mustache thing like a Tim Tracker will? Yeah, I should. I don't know if he can. Uh, I don't know how to. If it, like it's got to grow out or something, and you got to like twist it. Yeah. You can poke someone's eye. Oh, don't not nice. Oh, that's cool. That's <laughs> cool. That Helga's in the poly picture of it. Yeah. Oh, um, Chloe's mommy feeling good yes. a lot better today. Still coughing. Shirley's right. A lot of times we hike. We hike in July and August because there's it's hot, and a lot of folks are not. Um, they don't do a lot of hiking, you know. So that's the time we go hiking. The problem is it's 100 degrees or you know, it's really warm. It's not and good to hike in that it, heat. You have to be very careful when you hike in warm weather like that because it can be very dangerous. You know, heat stroke, all kinds of good things or bad things anyways. Um, yeah. You might shift off when it's 100 degrees. <laughs> well, we are going to have live stream um, Sunday tonight and we're going to open the mail. We got quite a bit of mail. We got postcards, got everything else. And, um. Dawn says, well, now she's got to do it from a laptop because, you know, YouTube changed the, um, I know she can get Streamlabs. In fact, I already got Streamlabs loaded. Do I do a weekly vlog on feeding the chickens and the birds and ducks? No, but I, maybe I should work yeah, on that. For you. Um, the problem is, well, we can get you on Streamlabs or, or whatever. <laughs> I have experience with Streamlabs. Um, it, it's a good program. I, I've had a few issues with it. Streamlabs before, um, after I stopped the stream, it still kept streaming, things like that. Just weird things. Oh, it's good seeing you too, Nancy. I thought Don was on the camera so we could cook lunch. I cooked lunch and then yeah. he set it up so we could go live. Yeah, I'm going to download some stuff. Come over here. Come over here. Yeah. Will mobile mobilization works better, but if Does it? don't show moderators, but works great. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. Well, you got a little wrench there, BTD. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, but it said it, he said it don't show moder yeah, monitors. Oh. Okay. I like the mobiles for app for Android better. BTD said you're on YouTube. Oh, that's honey beers. Say hi, honey beer. <laughs> Deb said hi, honey beer. You're a little cutie. <laughs> Look at her. She's up to no good, probably. 
We have such cute puppies, yeah. I got her at a Kmart parking lot. You know that? We were driving by, and a girl had um six little puppies in the back. Oh, you're welcome, Terry. She said thanks for letting her join the Yitz Club group. Yeah, you know, I really I'm, enjoyed reading the posts and loading everyone's pictures, looking at everyone's pictures. I'm really, really impressed with the uh, Facebook group. There's so many people, and they're helping other people out. It's exactly what we wanted, and um, a lot of folks have been getting some really valuable information. And a lot of folks are sharing photos and stuff, which is really cool, too. So, yeah. Um, they want a honey bear shirt. You want a honey bear shirt? Huh? We have to work on that. Because honey bear is part of the channel. Honey bear's like, I'm hot. Because you're holding on to me and it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. So. Good Sunday afternoon. Hi, Darlene. My hair's are. Um, thanks for letting me join. Can't type today. Yeah, You're um, welcome, Terry. It's for everybody. Yes, we yeah, just don't want people to, you know, do something well, bad on still, there. It's a close. I had a. We thought about opening the group to public because it didn't help a lot of people. The problem is, it's like anything. Once you open it to like the public, uh, you get a lot of people in there. The one thing I didn't want is people in there trying to sell like weight loss pills to people and stuff. You know, that's the kind of stuff we didn't want. So um, we just want a place where it was safe. Even for kids to go and you know and see you know Smoky Mountain. And My little major says hi to honey bears. <laughs> She's waving and her everybody's tail. really helped out. There's been some questions oh, yeah. that I can never answer. And there's people that especially when it comes to hotels and restaurants, everybody can go in there and share their personal experiences with like, you know, all that, which is really cool. Um and people get to know each other, you know. Um friendships can be made and what have you. So yeah, that's I think fun. the Yitz page was a really yes, good. Yes, really good. And what we're going to eventually do with that page and help people when they go on vacations. You once know. it gets to a certain point, I'm going to pick like uh, <laughs> we're going to get moderators. There's people in there that, that want to maybe be part of that, and then we're probably going to take the Yitz off of it, Y I T S, and it's just be called Smoky Mountain Adventures. And we'll decide there if we we want to open it to a group or because I I eventually just going to get like give the page away in a way you know, or whatever you know other people can control them and back out of it um but for right now Theodore jumped up here see, Theodore. <laughs> yeah, hold him he's, up and see him long enough he's scruffy up i guess he's, he's gonna get a haircut look at yeah him. look at look at him he's getting bully woolies he come on jumped on my lap just now <laughs> so yes um, noodles 1980 are you guys in tennessee i travel to Sevierville every year. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we do pretty much on our main channel. Hi, Andy. Yankee in the South, one word. Um, if you haven't been there yet, check it out. Um, that we have Dawn's and Dawn, we do almost daily videos. There's been some days we don't put videos out. But, um, yeah. um, BTD wants to know if we've been getting storms. Yeah. Well, we've been getting rain we get a on bit and of rain. off. Not bad. Just a tiny bit. Oh, the Von Zero. At least it want a green balloon. <laughs> yes, Odin Von. Okay, we were we had ice that was cream. Funny. We had ice cream the other night with Odin Von Zero and Crystal bought T-shirts. Hi, and Crystal. There was this creepy balloon that was chasing Odin Von Zero around. It was very creepy. It's almost like it had a mind. It's kind of own. scary. And I know Odin made a little video about it, which was pretty interesting. You know, Don, I mean, I like your channel or your live stream channel because, I mean, I, our channel, we get like 200 plus people in there. And it's hard to keep up and, and actually have a conversation. But I like it when it's a smaller group because, you know, there's only like 30 people in here. But you can actually, you know what I mean, have a conversation with everybody. And, you know, it's pretty cool. Oh, your mustache and goatee are looking good, Andy. Siegel, <laughs> You're getting a lot of comments on those scruffy things. Scruffy. Wow. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, I need to start selling some hats. That's the only bad thing about. I'll have the, to try and figure that out. The main channel's page is there's so many people in so many nights, and it kind of it took it's it's kind of taken away a little bit from just like you know just the you know one-on-one -on -one conversation. They said it's hard to hear you because. 
I'm you're saying you're too far away from the microphone. You want to set my lamp? You go ahead and talk. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna mess around. Now the microphone might be in the bottom of it. Okay. Adventures in Heartland. They, they said, hi, Don. This is John. Is it okay to PM you or will need some info for making some stained glass for you two? Okay. You can yeah. PM us. Um, our Facebook private messenger, though, is really, I get a lot of messages through there. So um, I do miss things for some reason. I can't figure out the reason why, but I miss things. BTD said he can hear you good now. <laughs> well, then I walked away. He walked away. <laughs> I don't know. I think that was funny. Yeah, Messenger for me is not a real... I, I lose messages. It makes me upset. Okay. Oh, BT said no before laugh out loud. That's weird. You know, I don't know where the mic is on the computer. It might be like in the front or something. For reason why. I don't know. I thought it was up there. It could be. Hmm. Huh. I don't know either. I don't want to mess with it too much. Yeah, so we're just taking a day off and relaxing, and we don't really do much of anything else today. Wow, so. Andy Siegel. The cover to the you know the drain cover it's in Sevierville. They used to be the old I think it was, it was the old jail. Oh no! They covered it with um, the blacktop. Covered in cement. Covered in cement. I hope they didn't do that. They can't because it's a monument, ain't it? No, not really. But it's kind of a history thing. Are we hiking? I'd like to. Yeah, I think so. as long as the weather holds out. Was there a lot of people at the Friday night meetup? Yeah. Yes, we had a couple yeah. from England. We met a couple from, from England. York, Yorkshire, 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 England. Yorkshire, England. Yorkshire, England. Very, very nice couple. We had a couple. Uh, they were a whole family from Michigan. Um, we had a family from North Carolina and South Carolina. We met some people from North Carolina and South Carolina and Yorkshire, England. Yeah. And um, I think we had a we had Dan's in body experience. We got to meet Dan's in body experience, in, and he I, had a Scooby Doo I, mystery machine. I, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I, cool. I think he's in Florida, but I could be wrong. I didn't catch where he was at. We met quite a few people, and then we were walking around the um, the rod run. We ran into tons of people, probably over a hundred. That have recognized us from either videos or subscribers. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, BT, tell BTD that we ran into some countrymen. I, mean, I don't know if he's, he heard us. But. We ran into some countrymen from, England, from Yorkshire. Yorkshire, England. They are on a holiday. It was cool. I love meeting people from, like, we met a uh, lady from Australia, which was pretty cool. Yeah, it's supposed to warm up in the next couple of weeks, Deb. And he said it's beside the new restaurant. Yeah, the, the new restaurant is downtown. We've been wanting to go in there, yeah, but it's so, it like, burgers. it was wrapped around the building, like, on opening day. And, like, the couple of days after that, we've been driving by. And every time we drive by that one museum, it's always closed. Get ready for 80 degrees. Oh boy, I got to dig out my shorts and William shorts and our shirts. And hi, Tony. Greetings from Disney World. You're at Disney. Awesome. She loves some of those cool cars at Rod Run. What's the name of the new restaurant, Will? <laughs> There's so many. There's that one's called um, Blaze Burgers. Oh, yeah, Blaze Burgers. Really fun to do restaurants. The Funky Buddha's open. 
which is a sports bar. Okay. Yeah, I definitely want to go to the Funky Buddha. <laughs> How is Disney World? Any update on the side Skywalk and Gatlinburg will open? I'm hearing the 15th of May now. He said the 15th of May it should be open. Right. Who knows? They keep changing the date. Um, oh, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be jumping up and down on the glass bottom thing, but we'll give it a go. And we'll be yelling, we don't move the bridge. <laughs> I mean, it's high up there in those mountains, but I don't know. I don't think I'll have too much of a problem with it. Yeah, don't oh, we got to take some pitch videos of the Bluegrass Festival at Dollywood at the end of May. Okay. Yes, we are very Bluegrass. And August Moon, when is it opening? We got the Bluegrass and Barbecue coming up in Sevierville pretty soon, too. Yeah, we got the Blooming Bluegrass Barbecue opening up in Sevierville soon, or coming to Sevierville. Oh, also, we're gonna try. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to a bunch of local uh, little um, towns that have like little bluegrass festivals, and we are going to uh, check those out too. We're gonna do some new things. So our big goal is trying to do new things. Oh yeah, I don't have my head on. <laughs> I should go get my hair or make will go get me one. The Cookie Dough Monster has awesome food. Yeah, it was some pretty good food. Flipping taters here. Did we enjoy Knoxville? Yes. Yes, yeah, we Knoxville's, did, Noodles. Knoxville's got a lot of nice, a lot of good things to do. Um, but the, um, a lot of folks don't watch our Knoxville videos. So <laughs> we don't get a lot of views on our Knoxville. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Honey Bear or not, but she's going, Ehh. Yeah, she's playing with something. She's tearing it up. She's funny. That's the only bad thing about it here is hard to Hi, Annie B. Hi. How are you all doing? Good. Oh, 22 degrees Celsius here, Helga. That's what BTD said. <laughs> is it like 60 degrees, Pete? Is the Canadian version the same as the English version? Yeah, I wonder if it is. It might be. Come here. <laughs> Come here, honey beer. Do, do we live in Knoxville? Oh, no. Yeah, we enjoy Knoxville. One thing we don't miss about the UK is the weather. I, I live, I'm in New York City, and Knoxville is a cleaner version of New York City. Without the traffic, I love Knoxville. We went to New York City on our honeymoon, and it was a crazy. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> yelled out something that wasn't very nice, but I mean, it was That's funny, funny, though. What's normal in New York? <laughs> the nice, the, not so nice word, it, it was funny though. It wasn't like nothing mean or malicious, but it was just funny, but it was a bad word. <laughs> we won't say what it was. Yeah, 22 degrees, I think it's about 71 or 75 degrees. Or degrees. Celsius degrees or something. Are we going to do a Sonic one soon? Laugh out loud. No, we should do one though sooner or later. When are we gonna go to Kings Island? I don't even know where Kings Island's at. He's been to one before. Never been to one. Never been to it. I never been to Bobble's Island. No, nothing. <laughs> I guess I was deprived. <laughs> What did we enjoy the most when we visited New York City? To be able to walk the streets. Yeah, Times Square. 
just to be able to get out and walk and, and just, you know, take it in. We went to Coney Island. That was really cool. Thank you, Hammocks to Coasters. Kings Island is 30 minutes from Cincinnati. I will. Uh, I mean, if we could make it out there, that'd be yeah. awesome. I want to go to that one, too. I just can't remember the name of it, but it's like the off version of Dollywood. Or well, I, I want to do a lot of things in life. It's just trying to get out and do them. I've never been to Manhattan and Lilac, like too. And then we're going to have another one near Dayton, probably the same day, real quick. <laughs> and then, because we'll be heading up probably up towards Michigan. And then we'll come back at a later date to do Kings Island. Hi, Belinda. So, and they'll just be little quick meetups, nothing major. Just yeah, just thanks, Karen. Line. Silver Dollar City and Branson. I like to try to do that one too. I'm going to compare it down to the No. I know they share the little, so I think someone said, you know, so it's a problem. I've only been to Cedar Point two times in my life, and that was it. Disney once when I was turned 18. And I said, I can't remember Disney. I, I just watch other people's videos. I don't like a big city, it makes me nervous. Noodles works in Manhattan every day. I'd rather be in Knoxville. At least I can carry a gun without being arrested. Oh, wow. The streets of New York City, when we walked it, oh, it's amazing. And then the lightning and thunder came. Then everybody started in a panic up, you know, they were up, you know, like panicking. It was kind of scary. Yes. We seen so, like, the Empire strike. Of it, Empire. We seen the Empire State Building get struck by lightning. That was a little, you know, scary. But everybody was so nice and not pushy. And when that thunder and lightning came, boom! Everybody was pushing and running each other and panicking. I don't blame them in a way because you know. Yes, we'll need to take me to California. I, I've been to California once. I just love it. I like, I've been to Vegas once. I love that too. Just to be able to get out and walk the streets and just take it all in. What did you do in New York City? It was our honeymoon. So we walked the streets and took it all in. And we went to um, Coney Island. That was awesome. We took the tram. What is it? The, the underground subway. <laughs> it was pretty cool. We just seen all the popular We're only there for one day. So. Weren't we on the train, the the subway with the gang of people or something? <laughs> I don't know. I thought we were gonna get killed or something. We were in. I don't know. I think we we're okay though. Kentucky Kingdom is fun too. Never heard of it. Are you serious, Helga? I was reading about the Knott's Berry Farm Hotel in California. You can arrange for Snoopy to tuck you in at night. Awesome. <laughs> you probably got to be like 10 years or younger. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a Snoopy fan. Um, we should have called Honey Bear Snoopy. The way she goes. Ah. The people that interrupt us when we're... Um, um, no, actually, we had people wait for it, like we're at Taco Bell or something, or wherever we were at. People actually waited for us to finish and then approached us. So, um, no, we've never really, but we do get recognized, especially this weekend. This Most week, people just wait until you know we're done. Or this weekend, we really got recognized. So. Helga said we have a vlog on the Snoopy Room at Knotts. Oh, okay. Yeah, Knotts Berry Farm is something I like to go. Um, when I hopefully we're lucky as um, and we'll be able to run into uh, Justin Scard. Yeah, um, I heard you guys got to see Justin Scard. Awesome. Yeah. Um, 
He's probably in the top 10 YouTubers that I want to meet one day. Awkward snoopy moment. <laughs> I've been have, to, have a good day, Andy. I've been to uh, Cedar Point many, many times. Probably, you know, two dozen times. So. Twice for me. Bounce on there twice. I see it all the time. <laughs> I was deprived, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the guys, we'd all go to Cedar Point. It was kind of like a summer ritual. We'd do it like two, three times a year. We'd camp out at the campground, and then we'd go to Cedar Point. They said he was wicked nice. Yeah, yeah, he, he is really, um, that's what I hear, too. So I'm hoping. I would say Justin Scard's in the top five. I mean, we've met Adam. We've met Jacob. Um, Justin Scard, Tim Tracker, somebody else we'd like to meet. One day, um, camper van Kevin, right? One I like to meet him. Kevin. I would like to meet um Tim Tracker and Jennifer. Jen. Jen, Jen, you might run into him, Tony. You never know. If he's there yeah, at Disney yeah. Now. If you're there at Disney, you <laughs> might run into uh, that. You know who they are. Um, it'd be kind of cool. Get a photo with him. <laughs> Justin <laughs> Scard is good at what he does. He yes, is funny, I, guys. He his editing and his camera talking skills like. He, he must plan out everything in his head, you know what I mean, before he even shoots. Because his stuff comes together real good. I wish my stuff would come together that good. But, um, yeah. I would say something, but it's not very nice. Nice. Nobody cares. Our YouTube channel sucks. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm laughing, so. Yeah, so um, there's something else. We we would get a lot of um, That's like a joke. negative feedback from our Rod Run videos. <laughs> now, I know because I grew up, my dad was really into, um, you know, uh, you know, old cars and rods and stuff. And uh, I do know that the peop uh, folks that get into old hot rods and that, they're very particular on what you say. So if you get a wrong year on a vehicle – or you say the wrong engine size or whatever, they will be you. Oh, yeah. They will be you. I've been getting a lot of I knew that was going to happen. I'm not, it doesn't phase me, but we've been getting a lot of, uh, you said this wrong. And, uh, yeah, uh, some some folks were Thanks, trying. Helga. Some Thanks, folks, PT, PTD. Some folks were trying to um, try to, you know, and I, I was like, well, I mean, I think – what? Thanks, Chloe's mom. The only two vloggers I saw on that whole strip was us and, and Michael. Michael and Becca. And um, I, I always tell people that, hey, if you have a passion for old cars, pick up a camera and make some vlogs, you know, or whatever, you know. So, Noodles wants to know where we met. Where, where did you guys meet? We had a place called The Roach. It's in Port Huron. <laughs> it's a little, um, it was New. Year, it was the night before um, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And a bunch of, you know, however it goes out the night before Thanksgiving. And we went to this little uh, little hole in the wall. It was a bar, and um, you yeah, give give Will the talking. And then the dawn, we switched numbers, and then <laughs> we didn't call each other for three days after we switched numbers. But the talking hand. <laughs> Try having a main accent. We never say anything right on camera. Oh well, hammocks and coasters. I don't know, but see, I do <laughs> slur words. I do make you guys. I know you guys all know this. Then. Um, and I mess up on uh, my pronunciation, uh, even pronunciation. Who up. called who first? <laughs> yeah, who called who first? I what? think I called you. Yeah, I think Dawn. Three did. days later. <laughs> well, it was Thanksgiving and the yeah, holidays. Yeah, right I didn't now. want to call during the yeah. holidays. But, uh, yeah, so, um, yeah. Way to go, Dawn. <laughs> Thanks, hammocks, the coasters. Yeah. For accent, though. I start to pick up the Southern accent a little bit and then somehow I kind of mix the two and it doesn't sound right. What's that? And I try to catch myself. Um, sometimes you're, when you're filming with a camera, you're thinking about what you're going to film. You're thinking about like what angle is what, you know I mean? What's going to look like. And then you're trying to talk. And for me, the talking part gets jumbled up and all that. And sometimes when I make a video, I go, oh my gosh, uh, that word didn't make sense or it didn't sound right. But you got to leave it in there because there's no there way of taking it. There was one back. YouTuber vlogger that vlogged the with the drone for the Rod Run. Can't remember the name. I do have some some 
some drone footage from the rod run. Um, but I don't know if it's going to end up in, in any of the videos. Yeah, there wasn't many. I didn't run a summit like now last fall. You sound like you're from the North, Will. Hey, yeah, well, I am from the North. She's a life alone. Um, but last year at the fall rod run, there were so many people. There were Scotty D, a bunch of vloggers we ran into, big ones. Um, and this, I didn't run into anybody but, but Michael and Becca. Nobody else out there that, you know, someone's going across other people have a gimbal. It's like, hey, who are you? How are you? And we change, you know, information. Oh, so, I got my engagement ring. You put a quarter in the um, bubblegum machine. You got a very, very pretty ring. Oh, okay. I was being funny. Get the cameras up the I don't side. know how to do that. Oh. Let's see. That that's a that's over a carrot. That's a carrot and a half. It's solitaire. It's expensive. Trust me, I paid a lot of money for that thing. He said, <laughs> "Oh." I love both. Turn evers. Yes, I do. I do do that, guys. I'm not a. I'm more on the camera side um, than I am with like commentary and stuff. I love Will so. ding ding along part of, part of both and switching the past from adverbs. It's enduring. I love you guys. Yeah. Thank it, you, Tony. Just, yeah, and um, <laughs> and I ain't. I, I'm not. A, I'm never been um. Way to go, very, Dawn. I am a good talker, but when I'm filming and I'm trying to, I have like 20 things going on in my head. I, I don't get words right. I really don't. <laughs> it's been too many years since we've been out of high school for me. I always say I'm better behind the camera than I am in front. I don't know who else put well, Dawn. We put that Dawn in front of the camera. <laughs> so. I do what I can, I guess. I don't know. But we do what we do. That's what cool thing about Thanks, YouTube. Helga. The cool thing about YouTube is that, you know, everybody should you be yourself. You know what I mean? And just be yourself. Hi, Harvey Five. And How are you? People like real people. Hey, Harvey Five. Hi. Just be yourself. You know? We think you're both are awesome. You're real. And that alone is worth a million. Well, just like, you know, yes. I mean, everybody in YouTube. One thing I will suggest to everybody. Be, be yourself on YouTube. You know, don't try to make yourself be something you're not because people are looking for real. They want real people. They don't want the little news reporter. Hi, Crisco. Hi, Hammocks the Coasters. You know, I saw this once. There was a news reporter. She had high heels on and a dress, and she was standing <laughs> at the bottom of Grotto Falls. And she's like, I just did a very beautiful hike to Grotto Falls. And I'm like, no, you did not in them high heels. <laughs> you set a camera crew up. And I, I've, I've always, it always kept in my mind, you know. Harvey Five said hey, it's a majority of storming here. Yes, I'm, 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 and I think we have a big one coming through. Um, it's actually sunny right now, so yeah. But the weather here right now, we had a little bit of rain this morning. Um, but I think we're supposed to get some big ones coming through. Wendy, Crisco says Wendy. Where is that? We just got a little bit on and off rain today. Nothing major yet. Yeah. But it's a high of what, 77 you said today? 77 as of right now, I believe. Here. Can you see these are the ones that aren't real too? You guys are genuine. Love that. Thanks, Chloe's mom. Yeah, the worst thing you could do on YouTube if you're starting a channel is try to be fake about it. I don't know. I'm going to help really seriously try and work on my next video, Debbie. Yeah. Noah said they had a tornado watch and some rain and wind. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, that's what they were predicting here in East Tennessee was tornadoes and stuff. Now, I, I don't know if this fact is 100% right, but I was told once that Sevier County has never had a tornado. I could be wrong on that. So don't, Thanks, Hamlet's the Coast Don't service. take me to the heart. I've heard someone... Maybe it was in their lifetime or something, but I don't think we get, because of the way the mountains are, I don't think we get tornadoes here. But there's always a first time for everything, right? Hi, Larry Harvey. Hey, Larry. How's it going? Yes. So we have, 
I'll tell you a little bit. Oh, but. Bunny, we came home last night to 40 degrees and rain, and it's turning to snow. That's oh, not wow. good. Are you guys in Wisconsin or something, or uh, or Ohio getting snow still, or Michigan? Yeah, I think Yeah, yeah Severe Rose was definitely one of a kind, Bailey. We have one more rabbit, rabbit run video. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it goes out Wednesday on our channel. So. Wednesday? I mean, Monday. Uh, I'm thinking about Wednesday. Monday is our last rod run video. So I know a lot of folks are like, yay, no more rod run. Um, I'll tell you, after, after about a week of rod run, you get tired of it too. I get tired of it. Can we both be on it? It was fun though, but. There's a lot of walking. Okay, so let's go. Okay, it's bad when tornadoes yes. are in mountains that sort of traps it, causing more damage. Oh boy, yeah. Clo Oh boy. Yeah. I'm in Wisconsin and we have snow today, Kimberly said. Yeah, I knew that upper Michigan or something had snow. I have friends that live in the UP of Michigan. So. But. Oh, wow, that's cool. So this is your first time um, on the computer. We're on the computer. Computer. So anything, anything interesting, Don, that you that you learned over the Rod Run weekend, or anything cool? They got some beautiful rides, and they're loud. Some are jacked up with hydraulics. And did, did we figure out? Yeah, Debbie, we did about thirty miles, roughly thirty miles during the Rod Run. About thirty fall. miles. Give or take a few miles. But, but yeah, um, yeah, Rod Run was cool. Uh, I'm glad it's over with right now. But we have another Rod Run coming up, guys, in September, first weeks, the first weeks of September. And that's the big Rod Run. Thank that you, Helga. Run, actually, it's the Shades of the Past and then the Rod Run. But technically, I call the whole Thanks, thing a Rod BTD. Run. Because mostly. Um, oh, that's a, a good question. Time. I wonder how many cars were actually sold. Uh, actually, I saw a lot of cars being sold. Really? Yes. Yes, I did see. I saw a guy. He was um, he was signing a title on the front hood. I was, was just too busy trying not to get ran over. It was so busy. <laughs> and it was on a fifty thousand dollar lot too. It wasn't a cheap one. I, mean, I just see the, the ones that are two, three thousand dollars. You know, works in progress, selling to people looking for projects. But this one was a fifty thousand dollar. And so. Hoga said, "I love the old Chevy trucks. So cool. I do too. I'm a Chevy truck." Volkswagen bug and thing. I, I like the Volkswagens and I like the old trucks, the Fords, the Chevys. Oh wow! Um, Christina and Mark and um, Teddy are going to be coming down. Either uh, in January, February, or well, you November, come, December. Awesome. We'll hang out. Yeah. We'll definitely hang out. Yeah. The Z them. There was nothing but Z28s here this year. Everywhere we turned, all different years. Um, Thanks, Tony. So Have fun in Disney. Enjoy the rest of your stay at Disney. <laughs> I want to go down to Disney. I'm going to get my car and drive down there after the live stream tonight. Did you buy that green Volkswagen, Don? No. <laughs> Any Mustangs at that car show? Yeah, there was a lot of Mustangs. I don't know if I got a lot of them on tape or not. Um, that's one thing when you film these rod runs. See, they park the cars so close to each other. There was all kinds of Mustangs at the car show. It's hard to film them, you know, you know, to get around them to film. So I need so much space for the camera to actually capture. So we can only get certain cars, like the ones that are on the ends or the front or the rears of them because they're so close together. They're actually hard to film. Okay, you can go with us, yeah. with me to We're Disney, go Elka. Somewhere. I'd like somewhere to. I want to go when it's not so busy and not so hot, though. I don't know what time of year that would be for Florida. Um, you want not summer months. I don't want to be in the summer months. Uh, just staying out in the hot heat and the pavement, it's not appealing. We used to go to Florida like in January or February, and we'd swim in the ocean. But it see, because I'm from Michigan, it always seemed weird to me to be in the ocean swimming because January, February, like super duper cold. Not Florida people, people in Florida, they won't go in the water <laughs> and do it. It's cold. Yeah. 
Yeah. Noah said, I have a Volkswagen Beetle and thing, and I'm going to bug a Palooza in April 27th and 28th. Oh, okay. Yes, and I, um, I believe that's here. Um, Tammy, if we're gonna we're gonna try and get the tickets this year for Elkmont with the fireflies, we will try really hard to get those tickets. If we can't get them, I'd love to go and see that though. We tried for the last two years in a row, and I guess we I just didn't get it. Amount. How many hats do I have? I have one, two. You got a lot. Uh, about seven or ten of them. Seven or ten. <laughs> I'm trying to think about seven of them. 1980 people get attacked by alligators and flightless birds in Florida. That state is dangerous. Yeah. I've seen a big old ga gator crossing the, the highway. I was like, oh. He was on the road. He was crossing the road. It was on the highway. It was on a main drag. And we're not talking this like little thing. He was like probably the half size of my kitchen or more. Yeah. It was huge. Yeah. I was like, long. William, and we're driving by him. I was like, um, I don't want to mess with that. There's no way. Yeah, it was closed. Yeah, I remember that. Hot crust buns are popular in Kentucky. One of these days, I have to go to Kentucky and get me one. <laughs> I want a hot crust bun. I'm not for sure what it is. I guess it's like a dinner roll. You know, Karen, um, we definitely, um, we definitely. Sorry, need, I moved. To Come to Pigeon Forge in 25 more days. It's our first trip. Hoping to see you at the island. You've helped us so much on our trip. Thank you so much. We'll be there on Friday night. At seven thirty. Noodle said, "If you do it, make it from the attack of the gator." <laughs> I don't want to see him. I, I seen it from a distance, and it was kind of scary. I worked with this guy, and he was Tommy, one of his friends that lived in Florida. She ran over an alligator, and it did more damage to her car than the gator got. The, the I mean, has he really tried? He's still on really, here. We can ask him. I'm sure he's still on here. I mean, does he recommend? Like, they say he said it was moderate. So I couldn't see as moderate as what they were moderating here. So. Miranda said her mom always makes a bunny cake. I think they had them at the bakeries in Pigeon Forge, hot cross buns. Oh, wow. I've yet to have one, but I like I definitely want. It's on my to do list. Yes. You know what, Karen? This is our ideal. Um, <laughs> Hi, Milky Bar Kid. Chloe's mom. Yes, Christine, Christina. Um, you can ask BTD. I don't. I'm okay. sure he's still on here. Cause... No, that's no big deal. Um, yeah. So we do have an ideal to do a, um, a couple blogs in Kentucky. Um, we were going to go down to, um, you know, the Mammoth Cave area and then Cave City, and then we're going to head up to Elizabeth Town area. And we're going to do a bunch of stuff in Elizabeth Town. And then we were going to head up towards, um, uh, I know there's not much to film there, but they have the um, Fort Knox. But they also had a museum there. I don't know if it's there anymore. It was a patent museum. I don't know. But we're going to do a bunch of stuff in that area. Are we going to ask BTV? Oh, no. I'm just saying that program that he uses streaming. Oh, we're, it, he's going to ask you about the program. You, or, I know you said it, that it was. Uh, I mean, um, just Don, you're gonna probably need something. Um, we got another, another concern. Another concern is that uh, you know, will YouTube uh, expand those those requirements even further? You know, for streaming. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be kind of scary with the YouTube, but there's a lot of changes going on. And stuff. I'm shaking the computer. I don't mean to. I always like to try to be ahead of you know. Again. What's your opinion on the new law to ban snowmen being built in Colorado? I think it is very unfair for the children. 
not hearing nothing about that. <laughs> Um, Everyone said the picture was more clear. Yeah, too. yeah. Well, that's my experience, um, Chloe. Um, is that when I did Streamlabs, you can control the actual, um, you know, rates and stuff, which you can get it very clear. In fact, I think the sound and picture is clear on a. I don't really like the YouTube app, um, but there is bugs, especially with like I was using Streamlabs. And there is bugs with Streamlabs, so that's the problem. BTD said it works great on Android mo mobiles mobile live. Mobile There's a lot out there, and I'm sure they can't stop it. Yeah, um, yeah, because um, I think I think being honest with you, I think that the uh, you know a lot of those apps are really good. Like I said, I played around with um, with Streamlabs, and I like the fact you can control bit rate. So I'm out on the street and I'm streaming. If I'm starting to get like um streamlabs bad is signal, bad lagging. Yeah, see, it might be some lagging. I, I didn't know that. But if I'm starting to see like 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 maybe I'm not getting a good cell communication, I can drop the bit rate from let's say like you know what uh whatever down to like 480. And then the picture will be clearer. YouTube don't do that. Once you start up YouTube's um um it sticks you at that one bit rate. So when you start moving and you start losing the signal, YouTube only knows what to cut out. So it's kind of a different thing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start looking at different things. So yeah. Can we film on the outside of the Fort Knox from the road? Yeah, you, that's only Fort, Fort Knox. Yeah, you can road. film from the road, but it's only gonna be like a few seconds. But Elizabeth Town and some of the towns in that area have got some really cool things. You know. Also, um, Jim Bean, you know, where they make um, whiskey. Um, they have plant tours and stuff out there. Do they still do that, yes, though? I believe so. It's been years since they've been doing it. We don't do that on our channel, though. We can do those. Okay. I mean, it's not I mean, there's nothing, you know. Vicky said snow here tonight in Indiana down to 34. It's 43 here now. I feel for you. I know when it's cold, it's it's not good, Vicky. YouTube should be auto with your data speed. Yeah, it is auto, but the problem is that YouTube um um the problem with youtube is that they don't when it's when they when youtube does lower it that's where you start to be buffered out or it kicks you off totally you know it's, it's not a real we're with like stream labs and i think maybe mobile zen you can actually go in there i can go in, if i see the stream getting kind of weird i can go in there and drop it automatically you know what i mean myself i control it now it's not youtube I know people don't want to hear my technical. <laughs> Twenty five hundred is normally the best setting. British T Drinker said. Yeah, yeah, that's a good setting. Bird's the dog. Honey bears over there in the chair. It is a very good setting. Like if you have a ten, ten, eight, ten, 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 ten
communication wise with your audience and things like that. Um, there's a few things that you do gain. At 10,000 subscribers, um, you start having uh, companies reach out to you for promotions. That'd be um, nice if companies reach I'm, out to us. But I'm not real, real keen on that. I'm not, I'm not really like, I don't <laughs> like the company thing. They're, they're going to be really, they're not going to be real fun things. You know what I'm saying? Like if someone wants you to review a toothbrush. Karen is the best. You know, something like that. I mean, we, I don't know. We'd have to see what they what they do. Oh, it's okay, BTD, because Will was asking questions. He wanted to know what your live stream was like. Or if you had any problems with it or <laughs> the channel at seven thirty tonight will probably go quick. Because it's just so so much going on. Thanks. My memory still works now and then. But thank you, BTD, for your input. For you know, um, Will said thank you, BTD, for, for yeah, because you know well, I'm questions. trying to work on things too. And if I come across something real cool, I'll share it with everybody. You know, something that I learned or something that can help everybody else out. You know. So. How is your dad getting on? Well, hope he's doing well. He's doing good. He's, doing good. he's the diabetic. You know, he has diabetic, sir. Up and down and up and down. Could be a good day or a bad day. Definitely thanks for asking, though. Everyone promotes and don a hat. <laughs> BTD said, I don't share everything. Laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to figure out things. I know there's like, like Chris about t-shirts and things. You know, we've been talking about you know, different things to help him out. And you know what I mean? They and have to sit in front of the computer like now, too, for their live stream. So, and if we can come, you know, I know BT is really into it. Right now. I know he'll probably get a real, real good scenario. To be able to oh, okay. Play. Julie said, next time we go to the Donut Fryer, try some cinnamon bread. It's really good. Okay. I like hearing um, people's. Um, That's funny, Deb. We'll have to. um. Build a new addition on our house for a special hat room. <laughs> we got room for hats for now. We really want. I really want to say thanks to everybody out there for being so cool. They've been sending a lot of. That's okay. Um. Sorry, I'm moving too much. It's just. Um, I just wanted to say thanks, everybody, because you know they send us some really cool stuff in the mail. I know. I know. <laughs> and uh, tonight, uh, tonight on our live stream, we're going to open some of it up. So, oh yeah, we're gonna do our mail tonight on our, our live stream at 7 30, you guys. So which I don't know how it's gonna work because there's so there's so many people in there and everybody wants to talk, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it's Corby cool talks amongst each other, but um when we're opening stuff, I don't want people getting mad because you know what I'm saying? They're all like, Well, they didn't pay attention, you know. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear them or not, but he's like <laughs> Are you related to Thomas Kincaid? He does some beautiful <laughs> work. I, I used to admire his um art, his paintings. Actually, um, there could be relations. Well, her last name is Kincaid. Thomas Kincaid. I've been wanting to ask that, but it's not, not nice to ask. Thomas Kincaid's son comes to the original son. That could be related. I admired his work. He's got some beautiful paintings. But you don't have to tell me. That's fine. Oh, well, thanks, Hanks to Coasters. Wow. So Karen said it's Derby Festival time here in Kentucky. More than 70 events between now and Derby Day. Yesterday was Thunder oh. over Louisville. Louisville. <laughs> but yes, actually, uh, Derby is a big, big thing. And, um, is that like smash them up derbies? No. Oh, I thought it was like driving cars around and smacking them up derbies. <laughs> I got the horses. Red hat gang? They have these parties where the women wear these really beautiful hats and, and dresses and stuff. You know I've like, seen them. They, were, they had red hats at the one um, hotel. I don't know if that's the same ones, but 
I thought as you drive a car and you smack them up. That's from Michigan. <laughs> I'm a redneck, I guess. My whole family, if you met them. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I've never been to a derby horse race before. That's something on my to-do list now. Hi, Gerald. I know Gerald's busy now. Oh, honey bear. Hey, Gerald Farms. Hey, I see you've been growing your channel. And he's a busy guy. Um, he uh I just wanted to say hi because I know he's always he's always busy. Wow, that's cool. We're still watching your channel. We still got some great stuff in. He puts <laughs> tea drinker. Sometimes Gerald puts out two videos a day. He really hauling. But I think you're what you're almost at two thousand subscribers. I could be wrong. You might be higher than that now. Awesome, Gerald. I'm glad your channel grew. Yes, it's growing. He's doing very well. Actually, very very well. Very well. Okay, Did you well, win? Stress now. Hi, Bear's a cute little fluffy dog. She still has allergies. Every now and then she can get a little bit of. How many have you guys, how many people in here have been to the derbies? I would probably be able to sit through that, wear one of my hats, and just watch them run. It's the Thanks, Gerald. The Kentucky Derby is like. Kentucky Derby is like a two-week ordeal. <laughs> oh, Gerald has 1,813. Yeah, I know he's getting close. 2,000. That's great. Gerald, that is actually pretty good for a channel um, getting to that point. That is really good. That's really good growth. Hammocks the Coaster said, I've been to the demo derbies. What's the demo? Demolition derby? The demo derbies? Yeah. Demo derbies are fun. I got a friend who, who does demo derbies. That's the one I'm talking about. Demolition? Demolition derbies with the cars. Oh. <laughs> That's what I thought we were talking about until I said the horses. The derby is referred to I don't know. I never got out. That's something to see, though. I, I would like yeah, to see that. Yeah. I want to do that whitewater rafting, too. That's always on, been on my bucket list. I got to ride a camel at one of the fairs. That was like a bucket list thing, I guess. But I was turning the wrong way because they had a baby camel over there, so I didn't look at the camel right away when he snapped it. So that's my bad. We have a donkey derby a in Blackpool. Derby. That'd be something to see, Helga. I'd like to see that. You know what? Um, we got to get we got to get to uh, the UK. We got to get to England. We I'm gonna be able to meet with and greet with you too, Gerald. Yes, definitely. You'd be in July, okay? Yeah, Gerald, I just want to say congratulations, Gerald. Um, that we is like really, to do some hiking, William. He has grown for, you know what I mean, greatly. I mean, he's got really good success. And he does very good work. We watch all the time. You might not hear us comment. We watch a lot of stuff on Roku, so we don't get to comment a lot. But um, we do watch. We're out there watching everybody's channels. I turn the Roku on, and I let it play everything out, you know what I mean, as I'm working. Derby E hundreds. <laughs> Rod run, not FUD run. Maybe food run or something. Or no, but one of these days I have to make it to a dumb a horse derby thing. Do you do you have to like? Are you supposed to like put some money down on a horse or something if it comes in first or? Um, sometimes I know they get better than horses in Vegas. <laughs> I think. They don't have horses in Vegas, do they? No, you can bet bet in Vegas on horses. Oh. Horse derby. I remember we went the first time we went to Vegas. My boss gave me twenty bucks to put down on a team, but he lost. Yeah. So I got him a keychain and I gave him his receipt back. So it was kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. We should get BTD. And we should all go to England, and we should go see Hilga, and we could have some tea, some real, I mean, real tea, <laughs> in England. And, um, I. I know in Ireland it's scones. I think it's scones in England. Too, I like to it? try a scone. Is it like bread it's or something? Like a, or? It's kind of like our, our, our biscuit in a way. Never had kind one. Of. I'm, I'm not, I'm, it's not. It's not the same. But that's the only. That's the only layman way of saying it. Similar to like a biscuit. Real tea scones. BTD. Yes. Real, 
real key and real scones. I mean, real, and maybe some um, some black or white pudding. Well, that's more like Irish and Scottish too. I guess the English gets into. Karen the said, "Derby Eve, we have hundreds of celebrities in town for all the fundraiser galas. It's yeah, yeah. like a Hollywood. Oh wow! Yeah, it's like a gala. What are these days? So we have to try and make it out there. BTD said you do need to go to England, but let me know when when we'll come with you. Awesome. That'd be cool. I would love to go back. I mean, I've never been, I've never been Hi, Kidder Cat. Back. Box charting. E, I'll check back. Have a good one. Oh, have a good one, Gerald. Okay, so black pudding is, 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 is white pudding is Irish. Okay. Okay. I, I know there's a lot of similarities because you know that. Right, yes. Bacon and cheese pasty, I'd kill for one. And then I need to go to Scotland. What did, were you buying? Those like putt pie things? I never had tried one. You never well, yeah, let I, me. Well, Scottish, yes. Yeah, no, you buy them at the one bakery in Detroit for I'm your dad. Oh. They're called Scottish meat pies or brideys. He used to buy those Scottish meat, or meat you get pies. Haggis or, um, or Scotch eggs. That's, that's all Scottish. But that it's not just me and Scot Scottish, too. A lot of that's English, too. You know what I mean? It, 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 they share a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Like, and they're different. Like, they might just be a little bit different in England than they are in Scotland, and vice versa. So there's a lot to do. You need to eat English bacon too. English bacon. Okay. Is it like Canadian bacon? Is that like Canadian bacon? He, know. him, and his Canadians. Or but female, Canadians. Female bacon. I want to go back to Canada too and admire the um, Niagara Falls. I want to do a lot of things. I want to do whitewater rafting. I want to go back to I Canada. I want to. I want to try the derby thing. And never been the to a derby. derby. Yeah, derby. English bacon. Okay, yeah. So it's totally different. I figured it was. Like bacon in, in, in Canada is, well, technically no, because Cana the Canadian, the, Eng the the American bacon has influenced the Canadian bacon, but at one time, Canadian bacon, true Canadian bacon is different than the, the American bacon. Helga said it's like Canadian bacon. Yeah, so like the penal, a little bit of cornmeal, or that might be on the outside. No, but they're saying no, Helga. Um, they're saying it's, I think it's like Canadian bacon. It seems more like a ham. Yeah, in, in American layman's terms, it'd be like ham. Yeah. <laughs> Going back to lamb, but it's not. It's actually different. It's a loin, you know, it's um back or whatever back bacon loin. I don't know, it's hard to <laughs> it's hard. We just need to go there. It's softer and, and, bacon. And try it. Yeah, it's softer, yes. It's better. <laughs> they said it's better. It's better. It's better. It's better. Trust me. <laughs> I'll definitely have to try that too if we ever go to England. More like hands. It's not hand. so smoked. Will's had it in his had it in Ireland. Yeah, yeah, and that's a good thing because. What's the cheese like over there in England? Oh, it's, great. it's great. Believe it or not, um, like Canadians, the English. The Irish, they have higher standards on cheese and certain meat products. So um, it um, it's actually better. They have to age cheese for so long over there. At least they used to. I'm not sure what it is like today. Will his do you have family in Ireland? His yes, family. Yes, family. Yes, yeah, see, he does. I got family who live in. Um, I got some family living somewhere in in the Normandy part of France too. He said he thinks he's got family living in somewhere in northern Normandy. Normandy. Norman, Norman, <laughs> I can't say it. Part of Normandy part of France. They're not wonderful cheese. Not true French. Like English living in France type. It's kind of a weird. Thing. Thanks, Deb. Something weird like that. The cheese in Canada is super good too. And I know it's a lot of things in Canada. Food is way better over there than over here. It's yeah. like, ugh. They have higher standards. <laughs> you know, you know yeah. I mean? um, like, like, I know in Canada at one time, cheese had to age for like so many months or years. 
Where here in the United States, they can produce cheese and sell it tomorrow. You know what I mean? It's kind of a unique. Help us said I'd just been to Cheddar on holiday and they roll cheese down the hill. <laughs> no, they do have things. What do you got to do? Roll it down the they hill? Roll too? a big thing of cheese down the hill and everybody chases after it. I hope it's wrapped. Well, it's in the, it's like in the you know? I'd like to see that. That'd be but, something to see. Wrong. I, think that's what I'm I wish you would have got that on camera or film and shared it with us. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I'd like to see the cheese going down the hill. <laughs> I fell in love with Skips. Oh, my God. Oh, it must be an English. Um, just like me, I like um, Coleman's mustard. That's something that Hill Coleman's mustard. In MBTV. Coleman's mustard. It's a really. It, it'll clear your sinuses. <laughs> it will clear your sinuses. That's a real popular and, and also like Ray Poupon or also if I like HP sauce, not not the American version. The real they're different. HP sauce in. And England is really good. And I love it on my steak or my my ham or, you know what I mean? I love it. Deb said she, any kind of cheese except for Limburger. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Adventures in Heartland said we'll have to make a cheese run to Union Star Dairy in Wisconsin soon. Is it good cheese there? It must be. Oh, yeah. Wisconsin. They got really independent places in Maybe they rolled out down the hill too. <laughs> I want to go roll down some cheese with roll the cheese down the hill. <laughs> See now Wisconsin kind of gets a bad name because every every American major company calls their cheese Wisconsin cheese. But technically real Wisconsin cheese that are made by real small time dairies that are actually aged is is really good cheese. Yeah. So Cheese curds, yum. Yes. Oh, well, that's cool. It's hard to um, get on. Helga said it's the huge cheeses and they have a race. <laughs> Yeah, down the, I've seen it. They run, they roll it down the hill, and I, isn't it? That'd be a sight is to it see. true that you have to kind of get the cheese in order to take up some of it home or, or to win it? And she said you have to get it. Sometimes. They do. They chase it down a hill. There's always people that run after it. <laughs> do they, they catch it? What happens if you catch it? You get to keep it's it. It's a big thing of cheese. <laughs> I don't know what the exact. I just. I don't know what the exact. I wonder how big the hill is. What if you tumble, like trip and fall and tumble and roll? <laughs> <laughs> yep. They're the best when they squeak, HTC. Oh, it's being bad again because I'm sitting in the chair. <laughs> Helga says they age all cheese in caves. It stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I like to see that. Oh, that's, that's the truth. Yeah. That's the reason why you get a lot of English or like Irish, like Irish will come over here, or you know, or especially Canadians. And you know how we have our American cheese slices, you know, craft, and that doesn't really exist over there. Yeah, you know I mean, and they like, what is this thing? It's a, it's a rubbery. Patch, you know what I mean? <laughs> they, it's uh, poutine. Hey. Christina's dr dreaming of poutine, real poutine, not not the Dollywood poutine. The Dollywood poutine. Well, what it was is Dollywood. It was just cold. Well, but, but Dollywood burnt the fries. The fries were. That's burnt. what happened. Then. They kind of like it had like a burnt taste to the fries, so it kind of ruined the, the you know the poutine, poutine, poutine. Well, 
Wallace and Gromit love cheese, if allowed. Wallace and Gromit. Um, that is a um, an English. Um, I think it's kind of like a but my cartoon. It's kind of like. I don't think we ever tried the Taco Bell flavored um, Doritos. Deb said she was sitting there eating taco flavored Doritos. Oh. Kroger sells them. Yeah, I think we know. They're just the, the regular kind. Yeah. Well, you, you might want to. So start, start ending your live stream because we got to. I'm probably going to start ending my live stream because I've been over an hour now. Well, we, we got to get some things for you. We're coming back live. It's 7, yeah. It's 730 now. So. The old... I'm going to say goodbye to everybody and thank you for joining me in this afternoon. And What time is it right now for you, Helga? It's it's actually late night. Is it at night? Yeah, it would be what? Probably in England, it would be what? Right? Thanks, six Deb. Hours, I think. Okay. Have a goodbye. Oh, have a goodbye. Have a good night. Yeah. See you in a couple hours, William. It's like, Bye, it's William. like 9 o'clock in the morning. Right now. At night. So. Oh, yeah, I'll show you. Sure. You guys got cheese spray in a can over there, Helga? I'll show Helga real quick. Hi, I'll Bunny. Sure Bye, Bunny. Happening. I'll make sure. But this is for Helga out there. So Helga might not be in our stream tonight, but we did we did get your package. We did get your package. I want to make sure I'm on it. So if not, we'll have the replay. So you can always go back and watch the replay. Yeah, it's 8 p.m. Okay, so our daylight savings time has changed a little bit. There's a monastery you can tour next to Jim Beans where the monks make cheese fudge and et cetera. Oh, wow. oh okay. This is why I want to get out there in Kentucky. There's so much to do. Theater just jumped on my way up. But okay. Well, let's just think about everybody. Have a good night, everybody. Give everybody a break. At well. least. We'll be back on <laughs> yeah. in a few hours. we got to do a bunch of things. I don't know if we're going to do this again in a few hours. She said it's great that it arrived. See you tonight, BTD. Thank you, Hill. Thank you so much. Love you guys. We'll talk about it tonight. Oh, I missed that one. I'm sorry, Alan. Can you give a shout out to my wife, Karen? Hi, Karen. Oh, you're almost ready, Don. Yeah. Do <laughs> so you know how to end the live stream, Don? There's a big red button. Yeah. Well, thank you, guys. We'll see you in a couple of hours. Poor Hilda, she, when we stream and all that, it's like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning. Anyway. Even later. So. He is on my lap. He just wants to say goodbye. I'm not scruffy up, I guess. He's a scruffy one. He's a big boy. <laughs> he cracks me up. Noah said bye. Have a, have, bye, Noah. See you guys later, BTD. Bye, y'all. You ready, Don? Yeah. Okay, 7.30 Bye. tonight on the big channel. 7.30. The little, whatever. <laughs> the, 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 Thanks for stopping by, you guys. Love you guys. See you in a couple hours. <laughs> All right, let's end the last one. Hit that button. Okay. Bye.